Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This session is part of ServiceNow Discovery Training. In this training, you will learn about discovery applications and modules. What different modules we have in discovery applications and their features. In this section, we will learn how you can activate discovery application in ServiceNow instance. We will know about discovery applications in ServiceNow instance and modules of discovery application in ServiceNow instance. In the last topic, we will run a quick discovery to discover our own mid server and populate its details in ServiceNow CMDB. Activate discovery. If you have to implement and use discovery in your organization, then the first step is activating discovery application in ServiceNow instance. Discovery application can be enabled from ServiceNow High Portal. There is a plugin of Discovery, however, it can only be enabled with the help of ServiceNow. You need to raise a request on High Portal. Once request is approved, you will see Discovery application installed in your instance by given time by ServiceNow. The important point of Discovery is that it is not free and has a subscription fee. Discovery is part of ITOM standard package provided by ServiceNow. So if you are purchasing ITOM standard package from ServiceNow, then you will get discovery license as well. And if I talk about personal developer instance, then you can activate discovery application discovery plugin directly from manage instance option on ServiceNow developer website where you can install different kind of plugins. The next topic is discovery application. Once you will activate or install the discovery plugin in your instance, you will see new applications related to discovery. One is discovery, where you can manage the discovery configurations and track the status of discovery of your instance. Second is discovery definition, where you define different configurations used for running discovery as per the requirement of your organization. Let's see these two applications in my personal developer instance of ServiceNow. This is my personal developer instance. You can type discovery in application navigator and you will see both the applications in this application navigator. Now discovery is here, which has different modules. If you go a little bit down, you will see discovery definition as well. And all the modules you can see for these two applications, they are over here. The next topic is modules of discovery application in which we will see all different out of the box modules of both discovery application and their features. Let's start with discovery application. So the first module of discovery application is home where you can schedule the discovery and you can also run quick discovery. And you can also see discovered devices as well. Overall, this shows you counters, the counts of different types of schedules, different types of devices dis discovered. And you can also run a quick discovery as well. If you want to start the quick discovery. The next module is dashboard, which shows the data of ongoing discovery operations. The next is discovery schedules in which you can create different schedules to run the discovery. 
You can see quick buttons as well, like quick discovery and cloud discovery. In this section, when we will run the discovery, we will use this particular button to run a quick discovery. The next module is status, which displays list of records of each launch of discovery. And that particular record provides a summary of discovery. That when it started, what exactly the action it is taking, what is the progress, all those information you can see in discovery status. Then you can see automation status sets, which shows summary detail of a subnet discovery and subsequent IP range assignments for mid servers selected for automatic subnet assignment. So let's say if there are IP ranges that represent a subnet. Now it can be automatically assigned to qualified mid servers by discovery quick start feature. And that quick start feature we have in home module. If I will go over here, you can see discovery quick start. The next module is credentials where you store username and the password to access different types of devices like Windows login credentials to fetch the information of Windows devices or machines, SSH credentials to fetch the information of Unix machines. Then you can see discovery range sets where you can define range of IP addresses you want to include to discover the devices different devices we have in our organization. Then we have mid servers, which shows all the mid servers installed in your instance. Then if I go a little bit down, you can see tracked configuration files. Now this module shows records of configuration files discovered on different machines while running the discovery. So if discovery is running on a Windows machine, if that Windows machine has some configuration files, those files will be populated over here. You will see those configuration files when we will run this quick discovery. The next module we have is migrate probes to patterns. Now in Kingston version, ServiceNow came with new functionality called patterns for discovery application which is a series of operations that tell discovery which CIs to find in your network, what credentials to use, and what tables to populate in CMDB. So if you are running with old version or converted manually to use probes, then you can use this module to migrate probes to pattern feature. Then you have modules for reporting and analysis for discovery. In these modules, you can see information about processing of records with probes and sensors, which gives you picture of discovery performance, as you can see details of processing time, that how much time a probe is taking to process a record, how much time sensor is taking to process a record. Then you can see some artifact section over here where you can see modules related to logs of discovery, IP networks, CI relationships, and all processes which are running on a single machine. So if you have found multiple machines, what all processes those machines are running, that you can see in this particular module. And we have some other information as well. Let's see the modules of discovery definition, which is another application of discovery. The first module of discovery definition is configuration console, in which you can manage what kind of CIs and CI information is discovered. You can specify what devices and application types to ignore and filter the specific software to include or exclude while fetching the information from different machines. Then we have application categories, where you can define what type of applications can be found in your organization like databases for SQL, Oracle, web server 
for Apache, Tomcat. These are categories of applications which discovery can find in your organization devices and machines. Next is range sets, which is similar to the module in discovery application that is discovery range sets. Then you can see behaviors where you can create different behaviors, which is used to see what probes are launched and from what mid servers these probes are launched. That's something you can create all those behaviors over here. The next module is functionality definition in which you can define different functionalities for different probes. And if you come little bit down, you can see probes as well, where you can see all rackets of probes, even sensors. That's the next module where you can see all the pro sensors created in your instance. And these are all out of the box probes and sensors. However, you can also create your own probes and sensors as per the requirement. You have to fetch some information in your different machines or different kind of machines you want to fetch. That's how you can create in these two modules, probes and sensors. Then you will see port probes module which shows the rackets of port probes, which are used in discovery to detect protocol activity on open ports on devices it encounters. So what kind of open ports those devices have? That is something you can basically mention over here. It is just mentioned the probes, the kind of devices I have found, how exactly I can see the open ports in those devices. Then you have IP services which shows details of ports of different sources. Then you can see some other modules as well, which you can basically configure as per the requirement you have. So these are all different applications and modules of discovery application in ServiceNow. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.